We're going to demonstrate intronic search with this example. So we're going to search the gene BTK, and then we're going to add a cDNA position. You see that this is populated with my variant that I entered. However, what I want in order to maximize the sensitivity of my search is to be able to find all of the different nomenclatures that could represent this variant. This is one capability of Mastermind we want to be sure to highlight. So when you see the BTK L522SA, that is indicating that this is a likely splice acceptor variant. There's a list of the abbreviations we use for this mastermind terminology on our frequently asked questions page. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to see the output with seven articles matching this um, normalized mastermind nomenclature. Then I can see exactly which variant is being represented when I look at my sentence fragments. So I'm going to view my article, select variants only, and then I can immediately see the cDNA position being represented as well as the transcript information. If I am to scroll through toggling and looking at different references, I can see immediately that there is other nomenclature that could also represent this variant. The power of Mastermind is the ability to pull all of that information together in one search and quickly review it so that I can effectively determine if this uh, variant represented in the paper is consistent with the one in my patient that I am trying to analyze.